How do you keep your aquariums warm in the winter? And even worse, what do you do if the power goes out and your tanks start getting cold? That's what we're going to talk about in this episode of Tank Talk. Welcome to another episode of Tank Talk. My name is John Hudson. I'm from kgtropicals.com, and this is a series all about answering your questions submitted through social media or in the comment section below. If you'd rather use other forms of social media, I will list all of my contacts at the end of this episode. But for now, let's get on to the first question. Today's first comment comes from the video I did a while back with Lisa doing the unboxing of our Live Fish Direct Fish. It's from Eric K, and it reads like this. You're a lucky man, John. And I'm not just talking about the fish in the video. Sorry, had to say it. Yeah. Hi, baby. Uh, hi, baby. <laughs> yeah, <I'm cool. laughs> uh, hi, baby. All right, now let's get to the serious stuff here. Today's real question comes from Rally Mad Boy, and he says, Winter and keeping my fish tank warm enough is my concern. Please do a video on this. Winter is coming. It's either me or this cold, and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. Winter is coming. 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 I imagine you might be rather cold. And winter is coming. Oh, that's all right. I'm fine. You're not. You're freezing. In the winter months, there's a few things that we can do as fish keepers to make sure that our fish stay nice and toasty and they don't end up freezing to death. The first thing to do is pretty obvious. Check and make sure that your heater is working properly. Don't take it out of the water and touch it to see if it's hot. Just look at your thermometer, and if it's keeping the water at the temperature that you've set it to, you should be okay. But there is some other things to think about. Tropical fish like their water to be a little bit on the warm side, some warmer than others, but usually it's going to be right around 80 degrees. And unless you're somebody that has a big thermometer staring at you in the face, or you're really anal about checking the temperature every single day, you're not going to know if the heater has malfunctioned unless it's too late. Because of this, I recommend that you have a backup heater. Now, I'm not just talking about having a heater in the drawer somewhere. I'm actually talking about taking a second heater, putting it into your tank, and setting it a degree or two below the first one. This will mean that your backup heater will basically never come on. The first heater, your main heater, is going to be the one doing all of the work. But if that main heater malfunctions, the second heater, your backup, will automatically kick in, and your fish will never even know the difference. Now, what do you do in the event of the dreaded winter power outage? When the power goes out, everything goes dark, and your tanks start to drop temperature dramatically. Well, unfortunately, there's only a few things I can recommend you try to do. First would be to try to keep the room that your tanks are in as warm as possible. This would mean limiting the traffic in and out of the room, opening doors, letting that cool air in. If your tank is in your living room and that's right where the front door is to your house, maybe use your back door instead when you go out. Try as hard as you can to keep that heat in the room, allowing the room temperature to keep your tanks warmer. Second would be that you actually can cover your tanks with a thick blanket. Now your blanket's most likely going to end up getting wet, but it will certainly help to keep things insulated. Just understand that you don't want to completely seal it off. These tanks do need air. There's really no way you're going to stop every single bit of cold air from getting in. But wrapping it in a nice warm blanket can certainly help it out. The third thing is obviously a generator. But I'm willing to guess that if you had a generator, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Most likely, if your power's out and it's in the middle of winter, it's going to be because of a large storm. You might have two feet of snow on the ground, and this is not even going to really be an option for you. But there always is the option of going to someone who has power, your sister down the road, your mom, a friend, and getting some hot water from them. Take some buckets over there, make sure you have lids, fill them up with scalding hot water, as hot as their tub or whatever will get to. It's not going to be that hot when you get it back to the house. So fill those buckets up with nice hot water and then bring them back to your house and do a water change with that water. Again, if there's two feet of snow on the ground, this isn't going to be easy, but we're fish keepers. We're used to doing crazy things. So if you have a different strategy that you're using to keep your tanks warm in the winter, definitely let me and my viewers know in the comments section below. There might be people that live up in the Northeast that are used to this kind of thing, and they figured out how to keep their tanks warm in the wintertime. Definitely let us know down below. And there you have it. I hope that this video has helped you to understand a little bit more about getting through the winter without your fish 
turning into fish popsicles. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, why don't you be a pal and click that like button down there for us. It really does help us out a whole lot. And don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and make sure that you don't miss next week's episode because you know what? I might be addressing your comment or your question in there. You wanna get your question in right now? All of my social media is listed right here. Connect with me any way you feel comfortable. Ask me your questions and you might just see them answered in a future episode of Tank Talk. If you wanna keep it easy, just put it in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to talking to you again next week.